immersion, you may have heard this word a lot and it's a term gaining a lot of attention in the technology landscape today, as extended reality continues to represent more opportunities for learning, work and social interaction, the demand for immersive media continues to grow. Hello and welcome to XR Today, I'm your technology presenter Isabel Blakemore and in this video I'll be talking about what exactly immersive media is, so let's get straight into it. When something is described as immersive in the digital landscape, it often has something to do with the realm of extended reality. Immersive media, available in many different forms, allows people to interact with content on another level. Rather than just viewing a video, immersive media can create an environment which allows you to step into that video and interact with the things within it. Examples of immersive media expand all the way from augmented reality to virtual reality, hollow presence and many more. Experts have said that by now the landscape should be worth around around $180 billion. So here is what you need to know about immersion. So let's go through the different kinds of immersive media. Immersive media earned its name from the ability to immerse people within an experience of an environment. When you're interacting with immersive media, you're not just viewing a picture confined to a screen. In the case of something like 3D content, you'd be able to see a flat sphere of visual content around you which adapts according to your position or view, managed by three degrees of freedom. In the case of extended reality, AR, VR and MR, immersive media would map your experience on to a physical space allowing for deeper interactions and this is known as six degrees of freedom. So most kinds of immersive media fall into three DOF or six DOF categories and these options include virtual reality, VR is most commonly referenced content in immersive media and it involves using a virtual or digital environment to replace a real world space. VR fully immerses the user in a digital world through head mounted displays and sensors. Another one is augmented reality. Augmented reality or AR brings the digital content into a real world environment. This allows for enhancement rather than replacement of your physical surroundings. Next we have mixed reality. Mixed reality blends the real and digital world in an environment where they can coexist. Exist. Mixed reality experiences can include things like holograms or holoportation and they allow for a much deeper level of interaction than AR. And finally we have 3D content. 3D videos and images allow you to surround yourself with a kind of unique image or video. This allows for immersion within the media but usually there's no way of interacting with content directly without the use of a smartphone or similar device. So how will immersive media change the world? By making experiences more immersive, experts can create interactions between people and machines that we never could have imagined before. For instance, in a VR environment, a company could create a digital twin of a product which allows engineering and production teams to experiment with designs and ideas on how to enhance that object. A group of experts in VR could then work together on the digital twin in real time, adjusting without relying on any heavy machinery or material resources. The result is a much faster and more efficient creative process for everyone involved. But it doesn't stop there, and it's not just creativity that benefits from access to immersive media either. Immersive technologies can allow people to experience virtual guided tours of a location before they even visit that destination in the travel landscape. In real estate, home buyers can walk around their future home before it's even built. In the AR environment, healthcare professionals can use smart glasses to get guidance on a patient's circulatory system or find the source of an issue. Immersive media also makes it easier for us to collaborate more effectively in an age of hybrid and remote working. Beyond simply offering a simulation of face-to-face -face contact like video conferencing, virtual environments could allow people to share a digital space. In the mixed reality environment, it may even be possible to visit other employees as a hologram avatar. The future is immersive and immersive media is the strategy companies and individuals can use to improve the connection between people and the machines they work with. We can use immersive media to get a better insight into crucial content and share ideas on a more meaningful scale. Immersive media can improve collaboration between team members and boost customer service opportunities. And as people continue to look for more ways of leveraging the digital world, the demand for immersive media will continue to grow and who knows what our next level of immersion might look like. That's all from me but if you want more information about immersive media click on the link below this video which will take you straight over to the XR Today website. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the XR Today channel for regular videos and news updates and follow our socials so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.